Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic from unit interpolation. We will discuss a derivation of Newton's forward interpolation formula, which will be asked in the examination for 6 or 7 marks. Now let the function y equal to f of x, which is unknown, but we know values of y0, y1, y2 up to yn at some data points x0, x1 up to xn respectively. Means we will have a data in a tabular format like this, that is x0, y0, then after that x1, y1, up to, let me take this value, up to, let's say, up to xn, yn. So, what is the Newton's forward interpolation formula? It will be y equal to y0 plus p into delta y0 plus p into p minus 1 upon 2 factorial delta square y0 plus p into p minus 1 upon p minus 2 upon 3 factorial, this is capital P, but obvious, delta cube of y0 like that, where p will be equal to x minus x0 upon h. So, this we have to derive. So, let us consider that phi of x be the interpolating polynomial having degree n for a function y equal to f of x. In such a way that we will have a value lie in between x0 to xn. This is what is the basic definition of interpolation. Let y0, y1, y2 up to yn be the corresponding values corresponding to x0, x1 up to xn. Now, data is equally spaced. Already we have gone through this. What is equally spaced? It is nothing but what? State size h will be equal to x1 minus x0 or x1 will be equal to x0 plus h. x2 will be equal to x0 plus 2h or in other words, you can write it as x1 plus h. So, for nth term, we will be writing it as xn will be equal to x0 plus n into h. Now, let me uh, determine or uh, the value of a y at some value of a x. So, we can say x is nothing but it is that value which is to be interpolated. Let p equal to x minus x0 upon h, where x0, it is nothing but your initial value of a x, then h is nothing but your step size, and x is nothing but value which is to be interpolated. Now, from this, we will be writing formula for x as, it will be equal to h into p, and if I move this x0 towards this side, it will be plus x0. So, x will be equal to x0 plus bh. Now, let me write a polynomial equation in, a, in terms of pi x. So, it will be what? It is a0 plus a1 x minus x0 plus a2 x minus x0 x minus x1 plus a3 x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 up to nth term. So, consider this as the equation number 1. Now, if I put x equal to x0, then what we will get? In place of this phi x, also we have to write it as phi of x will be equal to what? It will be phi of x0 or in other words, I can say that it is equal to y0. So, if I substitute this condition x equal to x0 and phi of x0 equal to y0 in above equation, then if you observe when x equal to x0, this term, this term and all other terms, it will be 0. So, we will get a0 will be equal to phi of x0 which is equal to y0. If I put now x equal to, let me take this as the equation number 2. If I put x equal to x1, then I will get phi of x1 will be equal to y1. So, if I put it, we will get this a, a0 here as it is. Then a1 into bracket x minus x0. Now, here we are putting x equal to x1. So, instead of this x here, we have to write it as a x1 minus x0. Now, when we put x equal to x1, all these terms, uh, rest of the terms will become 0. So, it will be plus a2 into 0 plus 0. So, we will get here y1 because phi of x1 will be equal to y1. y1 will be equal to what? It is equal to a0 plus a1 into bracket x1 minus x2. But, we know that what is h? h is the step size which is equal to x1 minus x0. And if you see, a0 will be equal to y0 if you refer this equation number 2. So, in place of this, how I can modify this equation as? It will be equal to 
y1 equal to a0 in place of a0, I can write it here y0, plus a1 will be as it is, x1 minus x0, it is denoted by state size h. So, how I can write this a1, it will be equal to y1 minus y0 divided by h, or in other words, y1 minus y0 is nothing but delta y0 divided by h. Let consider this as a equation number 3. So, similarly, I can do it for x equal to x2, then we will get phi of x2 will be equal to y2. So, if we put it in the equation number 2, then what we will get? Here, if you see, h will be equal to x1 minus x0 and x2 minus x0 equal to 2h. From where you will get this? Please see it carefully. X, x2 minus x0, you will get it as 2h. So, here what you will get, let me write it as this, phi of x2 will be equal to y2, a0 will be as it is, a1 is there, x2 minus x0 is 2h, plus a2, this will be your 2h, this will be your h. So, we will get a0 plus, if you see, 2a1h plus 2a2h square, we will get this term. Now, what I will do, I will shift this, uh, all the things towards left hand side and I will write a formula for 2 a 2 h square which will be equal to, so we need to shift it towards left hand side, so it will be y 2 minus a 0 minus 2 a 1 into h, we will get this. So, how I, uh, I can write it here, y 2 will be as it is, minus a 0 will be as it is, 2 h will be as it is, but what is your a 1? Here if you observe, we have written a1 will be equal to what? Delta y0 upon h. So, substitute here in place of a1, we have to write it as delta y0 upon h. So, from where we will get it? You can write it as we will get this term from equation number 3. We have written here. So, equation will be what? y2 minus a0 minus 2. This will be del y0 because this h, this h will get cancelled. But what is del y0? Del y0 will be equal to, already we have seen that it is y1 minus y0. So, substitute what you will get? y2 minus a0 minus 2y1 plus 2y0. So, we will get it as y, y2 minus 2y1 plus y0. Now, why? Because we know that already a0 is equal to y0. From where we have taken? This is the state. a0 will be equal to y0. So, when we write it here, a0 equal to y0, so equation will be what? y2 minus y0 minus 2y1 plus 2y0. So, this plus 2y0 and minus y0, you will get it as plus y0. So, you will get this equation, that is y2 minus 2y1 plus y0. So, how we can split this? We can split it like this, y2 minus y1 minus y1 minus y0. So, y2 minus y1 is indicated by del y1, y1 minus y0 is indicated by del y0. So, we will get this particular term. So, therefore, how we can write it here? So, we can write it as 2a2h square will be equal to what? Will be equal to del square of y0 because what is this del y1 minus del y0? Already we have seen this uh, while preparing a table. It will be what? It will be your del square of y0, if you remember. So, uh, let me write it as, what is your value of a2 here then? So, from this, I can rearrange, so we will get a2 will be equal to del square y0 divided by uh, h square upon 2. Now, instead of 2, what I will uh, take here, I will take it as 2 factorial. Now, similarly, when we have x equal to xn, but obvious, phi of xn will be equal to yn. So, how to write this formula? If you see from this, you will be able to write a formula for an, which will be equal to what? Del raised to, because here whenever we have 2, here we have 2. So, del raised to n y0. Here we have 2, so here we have 2. It will be n factorial into h raised to n, because here 2, so we have power 2. So, here for n, we have to write it as h raised to n. Consider this as the equation number 5. Now, we know what is the assumption x minus x0 equal to p into h. From where we will get, if you observe this red color with what we have written, x minus x0 will be equal to p into h. So, from this, uh, we will write it as x minus x1 will be equal to what? 
x minus x zero plus h. So you will ask me, sir, how we have written this? It's very easy. X minus x one. So it will be x minus. We know that h equal to x one minus x zero. So for x one, we will be writing it as what? We will be writing it as x zero plus h. Means we will writing this equation x minus x zero minus h. So here again. X minus x zero is indicated as what p h. Here we have seen this, and minus h will be there. So that is, if I take h common, then I can write it as h into bracket p minus one. Similarly, for x minus x two, if I want to write, so how I can write it as x minus x two will be equal to x minus. So you know that h will be equal to x zero plus two h. So uh, uh, how we can write it as? Uh, we can write it as it will be like this: x2 minus x0 equal to 2 into h. Okay, because h is equal to step size, which is x2 minus x1. In other words, I can write it as x2 minus x0. But here you have to write it as a 2h. So therefore, here we can write it as it will be what x0 plus 2 into h. Please try to understand this. I have written what steps here we have implemented for getting this. So we will get this. X minus x2 will be equal to what? X minus x0 x0 minus 2h. So x minus x0 is nothing but p into h, and minus 2 into h will be there. So if I take h common here, so I will get answer as p minus 2. So similarly, consider this as a equation number eight. So similarly, we will be writing equation for nth terms. So if you correlate with this equation, x minus x2 here. With this equation, if you correlate, then you will be able to write this nth order equation. It will be like this. Now, what we will do? We will put equation two to nine in the equation number one. Whatever equation number we have, this is your equation number one. Pi of x will be equal to a zero plus a one. Whatever here we have written. So, if we put this, then what you will get? You will get y equal to y zero plus del y zero upon h p into h. Plus del square y zero upon two factorial h square p h into bracket p minus one. Likewise, we will have this equation. So finally, I will be writing it as it will be y zero plus p into delta y zero because this h this h will get cancelled. Then here you will get this h and this h square. So one h will be cancelled. And uh, here, if you see p into bracket p minus one upon two factorial. Delta square y zero. Uh, then, if you go through next term, you will get p into bracket p minus one upon p uh, upon three factorial into p minus two del cube of y zero. So, likewise, here we will get this particular formula. So, uh, whatever formula here we have written in the bold, this is nothing but your Newton's forward interpolation formula. So, based on this. we have to solve few numericals we will discuss these numericals later on in the next video lecture or in other words we can use it a shift operator also but this is or part if it is required you can write it or you can mention it in a derivation but no need to mention if we you have derived it here at this point now the thing is that when we are using this newton's forward interpolation formula this will be important uh, during your oral examinations it will be asked when to use newton's forward interpolation formula so criteria one is data should be equally spaced already we have gone through what is equally spaced and criteria two is it is used to find a tabulated value near to the beginning of the table means suppose if i have a data like this 0 2 4 6 8 now this is your equally spaced data and let me write it as here some other values whatever it may be Uh, that depends upon whatever data collected and if i want to find it out what is the value of y when x equal to 1 now this 1 will be at beginning of a table now already we have gone through how to prepare this is called as this will be your forward difference table so why this is called as forward difference table and how to prepare this forward difference table that we have already gone through in a previous video lecture so this will be your x0 this is your y0 this will be your del y0 this will be your del square y0 del cube of y0 these values we are going to utilize in the formula 
So anyway, at the end we will have this formula. It is very easy to remember where if this p will be equal to x minus x zero upon h, where h is a step size which is equal to x one minus x zero, and x is nothing but the value which is to be interpolated. So the question might be asked for six to seven marks. Derive this uh, formula of Newton's forward interpolation. So you can refer this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask any question. Thank you once again.